Guys, we are in Epcot. It's dinner time. It is dinner time. And so we're at Food and Wine to get dinner. We have no idea what we're going to try. No, we don't. We got our handy dandy book though. So we're going to try and figure it out. I was almost about to say backpack, backpack. What? No, handy dandy notebook is from Blue's Clues. Oh, uh, Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues. Uh, my bad. <laughs> Anyways, we're here at Epcot. Going to get some dinner at Food and Wine Festival. We're going to try and get something that we haven't got yet. Yes, it's always about getting something that we haven't tried. And, and I'm, I'm always good about that. But you know who's not good about that? Not me. She's no. not. So. I looked through the book before we came here to see what we haven't got yet, and it's like a very long list. Like, there's a lot of places we haven't even got one thing from there yet. So, that's where we gotta go. celery root puree, Brussels sprouts, and wild mushrooms featuring Melissa's produce. Scallops are very difficult to cook and being out in this heat and food and wine, I'm a little surprised how like perfectly cooked they are. They're actually really good. They got a good sear on them and they're tender, they're not rubbery, so. And then they have a good flavor too. I actually really don't like mushrooms, but I do like the flavor that the truffles give to it. All right, so I got the uh, pulled duck confit with cannonelli bean ragu and Zinfandel reduction. And it looks pretty good. So it definitely looks like it's more of the dark meat in the duck. Um, it's very, very tender. Pulls apart very nicely. And the taste of the sauce is, is very good as well. So the, the, the saltiness of the sauce mixed with the Zinfandel wine is really, really good. I, I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. Beans are cooked perfectly, they're nice and tender. Overall, I'd say this is a pretty good dish. chicken bayo bun and first impressions looking at it it's okay. got a lot of red pepper flakes on it so keyword in the name of the food is spicy it's good but it is definitely spicy I'm gonna wash it down with my happy peach it's got peach schnapps and dark rum all right, guys, so I got the Baijiu Punch in China, and it comes with uh, Chinese Baijiu Spirit, lychee, coconut, and pineapple juice. Oh, wow. That's very good. There's no, uh, like, alcoholic taste in it at all. And I don't think it's very sweet. Like, it's not super sweet. Almost tastes like there might be slight carbonation in there, which is nice. Really good. I think it's going to wash down this chicken korma that I just got in India. All right, so now I have the chicken Korma or korma chicken with cucumber, tomato salad, almonds, cashews, and more non bread, and it looks phenomenal. It's really good. Great curry taste, and uh, there's a little bit of a kick of heat in there, uh, kind of towards the back of your throat. Let's try the non bread. The little bit of salad that's on the non bread is very good, it's, it's fresh. What can I say about non bread? If you've never had non bread before, you, you have need to, to try go it. To Sanaa. Sanaa over at Animal Kingdom Lodge and try the non bread over there. It's amazing. These drinks we got in China, 
These are big cups. These aren't like those little ones that they serve everywhere else. This is like, this is a big drink for the price that you pay for it. So I don't know if I have said this before in other videos or in the previous two videos we've done so far of Epcot. Food and Wine Festival is probably one of the perfect places to come for couples who are looking to kind of get like a variety to eat. They have pretty you know, much everything to offer. Yeah, I mean the first the first couple of dishes that Taylor and I got, which was the uh, duck and feet and the scallops. I think total for those two was eleven dollars, which in my in my opinion I don't think that's too bad. You can share those, you can split those, and I mean it's eleven bucks, right? You know, yeah. what are you gonna spend on a nice dinner going out someplace? Probably, exactly. you know, a hundred dollars after a tip. So I think you could come here, so you could definitely save yourself money rather than sitting down. I mean, it's you know if you want to sit down, sit down, but. This is a great time just to kind of come and try some new things. If you do share a few, then you off. can try a lot more without getting so full so fast on just one thing. Exactly. I mean, that, that's a great point. You know, we usually get two dishes at each place um, because we want to try to get variety. But you could always get one dish and share it, go to another place, get another dish. And alcoholic drinks too. I mean, most of them are ten dollars, and they're not a lot. But but this drink here in China, or that we got from China, is ten dollars. This is probably the biggest drink that I've gotten so far. I mean, they're usually always like little little cups, maybe yeah. four or six ounces. So this is, I think, this is a pretty good deal. In order to attain this moose is to walk right up here, put your hands on your head, and make the best moose sound you possibly can. Okay. All right, moose, 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 moose. Yes! Here you go. And here is your moose, sir. You earned it. Great job. Enjoy your day. Thank you. I got the peanut butter and white chocolate mousse with a caramel drizzle from Earth Eats. We haven't gotten anything from here yet at all, so I'm excited to try it. And you know, Josh worked really hard to get it for me, so. It almost tastes like peanut butter fudge. It's really good. Uh, nothing special here. Just the sparkling hard water from... And he's literally drinking it in the exact Activate. same spot that he drank it in last time. It's, it's so refreshing. That cucumber in there, like, really makes it... Tastes so good. We got a couple annual pass holder pins today. I tried to shape them like Mickey Mouse. <laughs>